When the reality series Property Wars debuted in the summer of 2012, the cast became instant celebrities, at least in Arizona. So it was on Discovery Channel, and it was based right here in Phoenix. Yes! Each week, they'd purchase foreclosed homes sight unseen, fix them up, then sell them for a profit. Auction president coming through. Furniture store owner Scott Monaget was one of the show's bossy bidsters. Oh, there's plenty I could say. You this fucking piece of you fucking mustache man. But I'm being nice today. He's a New Yorker, very bold personality. He would go in, try to get these great deals. Reporter Katie Connor of our Phoenix affiliate ABC 15 says Scott's tough talk made him a standout star. Everyone here in the Valley in Phoenix know Monaga. He's kind of like a local celebrity. And if Scott was going to be treated like a celebrity, he wanted to live like one as well. His house was one of the most expensive houses purchased that year in Scottsdale, Arizona. The desert estate looked more like a ritzy resort than a family home. It came complete with a putting green, waterfalls, and giant palm trees. An oversized swimming pool, a lazy river, even its own sandy beach. It's a beautiful house. And Scott's taste for the extravagant certainly didn't stop with a Monaghan's mansion. He had multiple vehicles, all expensive luxury vehicles. Got a little surprise for you. When Property Wars was picked up for a second season, Scott Monaghan seemed unstoppable. My son Brandon, he's nine years old. He has my attitude and my same good looks. But things aren't always as they seem. This is how the public pretty much knew Scott Monaghan. But really, federal prosecutors say he was just stealing a lot of money from elderly and also all of their families. In reality, the stars of reality television aren't paid enough to finance lifestyles of the rich and famous. So Scott used his fame to defraud investors out of millions. After he started working on property wars, that he really gained the complete trust of some of his hard money lenders. One of those lenders was Denny Chittick, owner of Densco Investment Corporation. Scott convinced him to cut check after check. Scott Monaghan convinced Denny Chittick when he was purchasing a house or supposedly purchasing a house to wire him funds directly. That typically doesn't occur. Money is wired directly to a trustee or a title company. What he had done was that he, he took out the loans, submitted documentation to prove that he had purchased the home, but in fact he did not. Instead, Scott was pocketing the money. And we're not talking about pocket change. And the amount of money that was laundered or exchanged hands was in excess of $700 million. And investors had no idea they were being ripped off. If you didn't follow Scott around after every transaction, you wouldn't know that there, in fact, was no house. The addresses were correct. It was the paperwork showing that he'd purchased the house that was uh, false. Of the 2,712 transactions that Mr. Monaga did, only 96 were actual real estate purchases. And like a house built from cards, Scott was paying back the interest on the loans he took out with money from other loans. Scott Monaghan's fraud scheme required a lot of uh, analysis, a lot of pre-planning. But why would Denny Chittick, or anyone else for that matter, loan one person tens of millions of dollars to buy property without ever confirming that property was actually being purchased? Because he felt he knew him from the TV show. I think that a person just off the street wouldn't have gained the instant trust. Scott Monaghan didn't just rely on his newfound fame. He's a very charming individual. He's very convincing. Up next, the loans are about to run dry, but Scott finds a new source for cash. Individuals that uh, he'd find on the obituary section of the newspaper. And in a Crime Watch Daily exclusive, hear the secret recording that brought down the famous flipper. We both do not want to sit inside a prison, so. Densco Investment Corporation was one of his many sources of income, writing Monaghan checks to purchase foreclosures. 